afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram, and we start with breaking news of a police shooting in New Jersey. Officers ended up shooting a hospital patient in Homedell. All of the chaos happened after police say that patient left the hospital and stole two cars, crashing into several utility poles and more. News 4's Brian Thompson is there with the update. Chaos on the roads of northern Monmouth County this morning as a discharged crisis patient at Bayshore Hospital got into a running delivery van or workman's van, stole it out of the parking lot and drove up Route 35. He crashed it on a barrier, a Jersey barrier. A Good Samaritan got out to try to help him and he stole the Good Samaritan's car. Coming farther up Route 35 into Holmdale, where he crashed into some utility poles, a farm stand, and then ended up in a, a grassy area of that farm stand, got out, police arrived, they saw something in his hand, they tried to taser him, that didn't work, and because he still held that item in his hand, they ended up shooting him. He's not dead, he is expected to survive, as a prosecutor and others try to sort this out. In Homedale, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. All right, Brian, thanks for the latest there. Now on to a wild scene out of Soundview in the Bronx. You see two men park a Jeep on Bronx River Avenue Friday afternoon when someone shoots at them. You can even see a bullet hit the rear window, breaking it. Then the men in the Jeep fire back. Now, luckily, no one was hurt, but police want to track these guys down so it doesn't happen again. If you have any information, call police. A deadly crash on the Long Island Expressway has turned an SUV into a charred shell. Just take a look. It happened just after 1130 last night on the LIE in Plainview. Police say a Ford Explorer was stopped in the HOV lane near exit 48 when a Kia Sportage slammed into the back of it. That's when officers say the Explorer erupted into flames. The 89-year-old driver was killed. The 36-year-old driver of the Kia was taken to a nearby hospital and treated for minor injuries. A man is recovering in the hospital after he was stabbed on the subway, and police say he was simply trying to break up a fight. Officers say two women got into an argument on a four train heading toward the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall Station in Lower Manhattan around 6 this morning. They say a man who tried to intervene was stabbed twice in the shoulder and once in the neck and arm. He's expected to survive. So far, no arrests have been made. Meanwhile, in New Jersey, a review of how the state handled the pandemic is still in the works, and the results of that review will be revealed soon. That's according to Governor Murphy, who promised the review more than two years ago. He says it's taking longer than expected. The goal is to look at what was done correctly and what mistakes were made to help respond to a future pandemic. A cruise line that transported around 1 million Eastern Europeans to America in the late 1800s and early 1900s is marking its 150th anniversary by staying here in New York City. Holland America's Rotterdam 7 ship arrived early this morning, docking here at Pier 88. It's recreating the historic voyage it made in 1872, carrying dozens of immigrants from the Netherlands to New York City. This comes ahead of National Immigration Day on Friday. And be sure to get those pools ready because tonight's your chance to snag the eighth largest lotto jackpot ever. The Powerball prize is now at $700 million or $335 million cash. It's been a year since we've seen numbers this high and Powerball hasn't had a winner since early August. One reason, your chance of grabbing the top prize are one in nearly $300 million. Let's take a look at your afternoon weather picture. Cloudy, dreary, damp once again, but warm. Temperatures into the 70s, but a big change for tomorrow and the end of the week as we look at brighter skies, warmer conditions go away, cooler air comes on into play, but it is going to be a delightful dose of autumn weather that takes us into and through the weekend. Temperatures are going to be dropping. We're going to see some improvement as we head through the afternoon hours, maybe a little sun peeking on through, and that clearing is going to take hold through the overnight into tomorrow a much nicer day at hand but cooler weather down to 65 degrees as we head into Friday 57 but still plenty of sunshine tonight's forecast 56 degrees winds out of the west as we head into tomorrow 65 degrees and our high temperature forecast as we look through the next 10 days look at those numbers they stay in the 60s it's seasonable and we've got a nice weekend at hand that's a look at your weather all right Dave thanks for it